Cerium is a chemical element with symbol Ce and atomic number 58. Cerium is a soft, ductile and silvery white metal that tarnishes when exposed to air, and it is soft enough to be cut with a knife. Cerium is the second element in the lanthanide series, and while it often shows the plus 3 oxidation state characteristic of the series, it also exceptionally has a stable plus 4 state that does not oxidize water. It is also traditionally considered one of the rare earth elements. Cerium has no biological role and is not very toxic. Despite always occurring in combination with the other rare earth elements in minerals such as those of the monazite and bastnasite groups, cerium is easy to extract from its ores, as it can be distinguished among the lanthanides by its unique ability to be oxidized to the plus 4 state. It is the most common of the lanthanides, followed by neodymium, lanthanum, and praseodymium. It is the 26th most abundant element, making up 66 ppm of the Earth's crust, half as much as chlorine and five times as much as lead. Cerium was the first of the lanthanides to be discovered, in Bastnas, Sweden by Johns Jakob Berzelius and Wilhelm Hissinger in 1803, and independently by Martin Heinrich Klaproth in Germany in the same year. In 1839 Carl Gustav Mosander became the first to isolate the metal. Today, cerium and its compounds have a variety of uses, for example, cerium IV oxide is used to polish glass and is an important part of catalytic converters. Cerium metal is used in ferrocium lighters for its pyrophoric properties. Cerium-doped YAG phosphor is used in blue light emitting diodes to produce white light. Characteristics Physical Cerium is the second element of the lanthanide series. In the periodic table, it appears between the lanthanides lanthanum to its left and praseodymium to its right, and above the actinide thorium. It is a ductile metal with a hardness similar to that of silver. Its 58 electrons are arranged in the configuration Z 4F15D16 2, of which the four outer electrons are valence electrons. Immediately after lanthanum, the 4F orbitals suddenly contract and are lowered in energy to the point that they participate readily in chemical reactions, however, this effect is not yet strong enough at cerium and thus the 5D subshell is still occupied. Most lanthanides can use only three electrons as valence electrons, as afterwards the remaining 4F electrons are too strongly bound. Cerium is an exception because of the stability of the empty F shell in Ce4 and the fact that it comes very early in the lanthanide series, where the nuclear charge is still low enough until neodymium to allow the removal of the fourth valence electron by chemical means. Four allotropic forms of cerium are known to exist at standard pressure, and are given the common labels of alpha to delta. The high temperature form, delta cerium, has a BCC body -centered cubic crystal structure and exists above 726 degrees Celsius. The stable form below 726 degrees Celsius to approximately room temperature is gamma cerium, with an FCC face -centered cubic crystal structure. The DHCP double hexagonal close pact form beta cerium is the equilibrium structure approximately from room temperature to -150 degrees Celsius. The FCC form alpha cerium is stable below about -150 degrees Celsius. It has a density of 8.16 g per cc. Other solid phases occurring only at high pressures are shown on the phase diagram. Both gamma and beta forms are quite stable at room temperature, although the equilibrium transformation temperature is estimated at around 75 degrees Celsius. Cerium has a variable electronic structure. The energy of the 4F electron is nearly the same as that of the outer 5D and 6S electrons that are delocalized in the metallic state, and only a small amount of energy is required to change the relative occupancy of these electronic levels. This gives rise to dual valence states. For example, a volume change of about 10% occurs when cerium is subjected to high pressures or low temperatures. It appears that the valence changes from about 3 to 4 when it is cooled or compressed. At lower temperatures, the behavior of cerium is complicated by the slow rates of transformation. Transformation temperatures are subject to substantial hysteresis, and values quoted here are approximate. 
Upon cooling below minus 15 degrees Celsius, gamma cerium starts to change to beta cerium, but the transformation involves a volume increase and, as more beta forms, the internal stresses build up and suppress further transformation. Cooling below approximately minus 160 degrees Celsius will start formation of alpha cerium but this is only from remaining gamma cerium. Beta cerium does not significantly transform to alpha cerium except in the presence of stress or deformation. At atmospheric pressure, liquid cerium is more dense than its solid form at the melting point. Isotopes Naturally occurring cerium is made up of four isotopes, 136 Ce 0.19%, 138 Ce 0.25%, 140 Ce 88.4%, and 142 Ce 11.1%. All four are observationally stable, though the light isotopes 136 Ce and 138 Ce are theoretically expected to undergo inverse double beta decay to isotopes of barium, and the heaviest isotope 142 Ce is expected to undergo double beta decay to 142nd or alpha decay to 138 Ba. Additionally, 140 Ce would release energy upon spontaneous fission. None of these decay modes have yet been observed, though the double beta decay of 136 Ce, 138 Ce, and 142 Ce has been experimentally searched for. The current experimental limits for their half-lives are 136 Ce, greater than 3.8 times 1016 Y 138 Ce, greater than 1.5 times 1014 Y 142 Ce, greater than 5 times 1016 Yal Other cerium isotopes are synthetic and radioactive. The most stable of them are 144 Ce with a half-life of 284.9 days, 139 Ce with a half-life of 137.6 days, 143 Ce with a half-life of 33.04 days, and 141 Ce with a half-life of 32.5 days. All other radioactive cerium isotopes have half-lives under 4 days, and most of them have half-lives under 10 minutes. The isotopes between 140 Ce and 144 Ce inclusive occur as fission products of uranium. The primary decay mode of the isotopes lighter than 140 Ce is inverse beta decay or electron capture to isotopes of lanthanum, while that of the heavier isotopes is beta decay to isotopes of praseodymium. The great rarity of the proton rich 136 Ce and 138 Ce is explained by the fact that they cannot be made in the most common processes of stellar nucleosynthesis for elements beyond iron, the S process slow neutron capture and the R process rapid neutron capture. This is so because they are bypassed by the reaction flow of the S process, and the R process nuclides are blocked from decaying to them by more neutron-rich stable nuclides. Such nuclei are called P nuclei, and their origin is not yet well understood. Some speculated mechanisms for their formation include proton capture as well as photodisintegration. 140 Ce is the most common isotope of cerium, as it can be produced in both the S and R processes, while 142 Ce can only be produced in the R process. Another reason for the abundance of 140 Ce is that it is a magic nucleus, having a closed neutron shell it has 82 neutrons, and hence it has a very low cross-section towards further neutron capture. Although its proton number of 58 is not magic, it is granted additional stability, as its eight additional protons past the magic number 50 enter and complete the 1 gram 7 halves proton orbital. The abundances of the cerium isotopes may differ very slightly in natural sources, because 138 Ce and 140 Ce are the daughters of the long-lived primordial radionuclides 138 La and 144 Nd, respectively. Chemistry Cerium tarnishes in air, forming a spalling oxide layer like iron rust. A centimeter sized sample of cerium metal corrodes completely in about a year. It burns readily at 150 degrees Celsius to form the pale yellow cerium IV oxide, also known as ceria. Ce plus O2 CeO2 This may be reduced to cerium oxide with hydrogen gas. Cerium metal is highly pyrophoric, meaning that when it is ground or scratched, the resulting shavings catch fire. 
This reactivity conforms to periodic trends, since cerium is one of the first and hence one of the largest lanthanides. Cerium IV oxide has the fluorite structure, similarly to the dioxides of praseodymium and terbium. Many non-stoichiometric chalcogenides are also known, along with the trivalent Ce2Z3 Z equals S, Se, Te. The monocalcogenides CEZ conduct electricity and would better be formulated as Ce3 plus Z2 minus E minus. While CEZ2 are known, they are polycalcogenides with cerium 3, cerium IV chalcogenides remain unknown. Cerium is a highly electropositive metal and reacts with water. The reaction is slow with cold water but speeds up with increasing temperature, producing cerium 3 hydroxide and hydrogen gas 2Ce plus 6H2O L 2Ce 3 Aq plus 3H2 G cerium metal reacts with all the halogens to give trihalides 2Ce plus 3F2 G 2Ce F3 S white 2Ce plus 3Cl2 G 2Ce Cl3 S white 2 Ce South plus 3 bridge 2 G 2 Ce Br 3 S white 2 Ce S plus 3 I 2 G 2 J 3 S yellow reaction with excess fluorine produces the stable white tetrafluoride CeF 4. The other tetrahalides are not known. Of the dihalides, only the bronze diiodide Che 2 is known, like the diiodides of lanthanum, praseodymium, and gadolinium. This is a cerium 3 electride compound. True cerium compounds are restricted to a few unusual organocerium complexes. Cerium dissolves readily in dilute sulfuric acid to form solutions containing the colorless Ce3 plus ions, which exist as a Ce H2O 9 3 plus complexes. 2 Ce S plus 3 H2SO4 AQ 2 Ce3 plus AQ plus 3 SO2 minus 4 AQ plus 3 H2 G The solubility of cerium is much higher in methane sulfonic acid. Cerium 3 and terbium 3 have ultraviolet absorption bands of relatively high intensity compared with the other lanthanides, as their configurations one electron more than an empty or half-filled F subshell respectively make it easier for the extra F electron to undergo FD transitions instead of the forbidden FF transitions of the other lanthanides. Cerium 3 sulfate is one of the few salts whose solubility in water decreases with rising temperature. Cerium IV aqueous solutions may be prepared by reacting cerium 3 solutions with the strong oxidizing agents peroxodisulfate or bismuthate. The value of E Ce4+, Ce3+, varies widely depending on conditions due to the relative ease of complexation and hydrolysis with various anions, though plus 1.72 volts is a usually representative value, that for E Ce3+, Ce is minus 2.34 V. Cerium is the only lanthanide which has important aqueous and coordination chemistry in the plus 4 oxidation state. Due to ligand to metal charge transfer, aqueous cerium IV ions are orange yellow. Aqueous cerium IV is metastable in water and is a strong oxidizing agent that oxidizes hydrochloric acid to give chlorine gas. For example, ceric ammonium nitrate is a common oxidizing agent in organic chemistry, releasing organic ligands from metal carbonyls. In the belisov zabotinsky reaction, cerium oscillates between the plus 4 and plus 3 oxidation states to catalyst the reaction. Cerium IV salts, especially cerium IV sulfate, are often used as standard reagents for volumetric analysis in cerimetric titrations. The nitrate complex CeNO3 6 2 is the most common cerium complex encountered when using cerium IV is an oxidizing agent. It and its cerium 3 analog CeNO3 6 3 have 12 coordinate icosahedral molecular geometry, while CeNO3 5 2 has 10 coordinate bi capped dodecadeltahedral molecular geometry. Cerium nitrates also form 4 to 3 and 1 to 1 complexes with 18 crown 6 the ratio referring to that between cerium and the crown ether. Halogen containing complex ions such as CEF4-8, CEF2-6, and the orange CECL2-6 are also known. Organocerium chemistry is similar to that of the other lanthanides, being primarily that of the cyclopentadienyl and cyclooctatranyl compounds. The cerium cyclooctatranyl compound has the uranosine structure. 
cerium IV. Despite the common name of cerium IV compounds, the Japanese spectroscopist Akio Katani wrote, "There is no genuine example of cerium IV." The reason for this can be seen in the structure of ceria itself, which always contains some octahedral vacancies where oxygen atoms would be expected to go and could be better considered a non-stoichiometric compound with chemical formula CeO2-X. Furthermore, each cerium atom in ceria does not lose all four of its valence electrons, but retains a partial hold on the last one, resulting in an oxidation state between plus 3 and plus 4. Even supposedly purely tetravalent compounds such as CERH3, CECO5, or ceria itself have X-ray photoemission and X-ray absorption spectra more characteristic of intermediate valence compounds. The 4F electron in sericene, CE C8H8 is poised ambiguously between being localized and delocalized and this compound is also considered intermediate valent. History Cerium was discovered in Bastnas in Sweden by Johns Jakob Berzelius and Wilhelm Hissinger, and independently in Germany by Martin Heinrich Klaproth, both in 1803. Cerium was named by Berzelius after the dwarf planet Ceres, discovered two years earlier. The dwarf planet itself is named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, grain crops, fertility, and motherly relationships. Ceres, cerium was originally isolated in the form of its oxide, which was named ceria, a term that is still used. The metal itself was too electropositive to be isolated by then current smelting technology, a characteristic of rare earth metals in general. After the development of electrochemistry by Humphrey Davy five years later, the earth soon yielded the metals they contained. Ceria, as isolated in 1803, contained all of the lanthanides present in the cerite ore from Bastnas, Sweden, and thus only contained about 45% of what is now known to be pure ceria. It was not until Carl Gustav Mosander succeeded in removing lanthana and didyma in the late 1830s that ceria was obtained pure. Wilhelm Hissinger was a wealthy mine owner and amateur scientist, and sponsor of Berzelius. He owned and controlled the mine at Bastnas, and had been trying for years to find out the composition of the abundant heavy gang rock the Tungsten of Bastnas, which despite its name contained no tungsten, now known as cerite, that he had in his mine. Mosander and his family lived for many years in the same house as Berzelius, and Mosander was undoubtedly persuaded by Berzelius to investigate Ceria further. Occurrence and production Cerium is the most abundant of all the lanthanides, making up 66 ppm of the Earth's crust. This value is just behind that of copper, 68 ppm, and cerium is even more abundant than common metals such as lead, 13 ppm, and tin, 2.1 ppm. Thus, despite its position as one of the so-called rare earth metals, cerium is actually not rare at all. Cerium content in the soil varies between 2 and 150 ppm, with an average of 50 ppm. Seawater contains 1.5 parts per trillion of cerium. Cerium occurs in various minerals, but the most important commercial sources are the minerals of the monazite and bastnasite groups, where it makes up about half of the lanthanide content. Monazite CE being is the most common representative of the monazites, with CE being the Levinson suffix informing on the dominance of the particular re-element representative. Also the cerium-dominant bastnasite is the most important of the bastnasites. Cerium is the easiest lanthanide to extract from its minerals because it is the only one that can reach a stable plus-4 oxidation state in aqueous solution. Because of the decreased solubility of cerium in the plus-4 oxidation state, cerium is sometimes depleted from rocks relative to the other rare earth elements and is incorporated into zircon, since Ce4 plus and Zr4 plus have the same charge and similar ionic radii. In extreme cases, cerium IV can form its own minerals separated from the other rare earth elements, such as cerionite correctly named cerionite Ce, Ce, Th, O2. Bastnasite, LNIIICO3F, is usually lacking in thorium and the heavy lanthanides beyond samarium and europium, and hence the extraction of cerium from it is quite direct. First, the bastnasite is purified, using dilute hydrochloric acid to remove calcium carbonate impurities. 
The ore is then roasted in the air to oxidize it to the lanthanide oxides, while most of the lanthanides will be oxidized to the sesquioxides lane 2O3, cerium will be oxidized to the dioxide CeO2. This is insoluble in water and can be leached out with 0.5 m hydrochloric acid, leaving the other lanthanides behind. The procedure for monazite, lane, Th, PO4, which usually contains all the rare earths, as well as thorium, is more involved. Monazite, because of its magnetic properties, can be separated by repeated electromagnetic separation. After separation, it is treated with hot concentrated sulfuric acid to produce water soluble sulfates of rare earths. The acidic filtrates are partially neutralized with sodium hydroxide to pH 3 to 4. Thorium precipitates out of solution as hydroxide and is removed. After that, the solution is treated with ammonium oxalate to convert rare earths to their insoluble oxalates. The oxalates are converted to oxides by annealing. The oxides are dissolved in nitric acid, but cerium oxide is insoluble in HNO3 and hence precipitates out. Care must be taken when handling some of the residues as they contain 228 Ra, the daughter of 232 Th, which is a strong gamma emitter. Applications The first use of cerium was in gas mantles, invented by the Austrian chemist Karl Auer von Welsbach. In 1885, he had previously experimented with mixtures of magnesium, lanthanum, and yttrium oxides, but these gave green-tinted light and were unsuccessful. Six years later, he discovered that pure thorium oxide produced a much better, though blue, light, and that mixing it with cerium dioxide resulted in a bright white light. Additionally, cerium dioxide also acts as a catalyst for the combustion of thorium oxide. This resulted in great commercial success for von Welsbach and his invention, and created great demand for thorium. Its production resulted in a large amount of lanthanides being simultaneously extracted as by products. Applications were soon found for them, especially in the pyrophoric alloy known as mishmatol, composed of 50% cerium, 25% lanthanum, and the remainder being the other lanthanides, that is used widely for lighter flints. Usually, iron is also added to form an alloy known as ferrocium, also invented by von Welsbach. Due to the chemical similarities of the lanthanides, chemical separation is not usually required for their applications, such as the mixing of mishmatol into steel to improve its strength and workability, or as catalysts for the cracking of petroleum. This property of cerium saved the life of writer Primo Levi at the Auschwitz concentration camp, when he found a supply of ferrocium alloy and bartered it for food. Ceria is the most widely used compound of cerium. The main application of ceria is as a polishing compound, for example in chemical mechanical planarization. In this application, ceria has replaced other metal oxides for the production of high quality optical surfaces. Major automotive applications for the lower sesquioxide are as a catalytic converter for the oxidation of CO and NOx emissions in the exhaust gases from motor vehicles. Ceria has also been used as a substitute for its radioactive congener thoria, for example in the manufacture of electrodes used in gas tungsten arc welding, where ceria as an alloying element improves arc stability and ease of starting while decreasing burn off. Cerium IV sulfate is used as an oxidizing agent in quantitative analysis. Cerium IV in methane sulfonic acid solutions is applied in industrial scale electrosynthesis as a recyclable oxidant. Ceric ammonium nitrate is used as an oxidant in organic chemistry and in etching electronic components, and as a primary standard for quantitative analysis. The photostability of pigments can be enhanced by the addition of cerium. It provides pigments with light fastness and prevents clear polymers from darkening in sunlight. Television glass plates are subject to electron bombardment, which tends to darken them by creation of F-center color centers. This effect is suppressed by addition of cerium oxide. Cerium is also an essential component of phosphors used in TV screens and fluorescent lamps. Cerium sulfide forms a red pigment that stays stable up to 350 degrees Celsius. The pigment is a non-toxic alternative to cadmium sulfide pigments. Cerium is used as alloying element in aluminum to create castable eutectic alloys, AlCe alloys with 6 to 16 Wt percent Ce, to which Mg and or C can be further added. These alloys have excellent high temperature strength. Biological role and precautions. 
Cerium has no known biological role in humans, but is not very toxic either, it does not accumulate in the food chain to any appreciable extent. Because it often occurs together with calcium in phosphate minerals, and bones are primarily calcium phosphate, cerium can accumulate in bones in small amounts that are not considered dangerous. Cerium, like the other lanthanides, is known to affect human metabolism, lowering cholesterol levels, blood pressure, appetite, and risk of blood coagulation. Cerium nitrate is an effective topical antimicrobial treatment for third-degree burns, although large doses can lead to cerium poisoning and methemoglobinemia. The early lanthanides act as essential cofactors for the methanol dehydrogenase of the methanotrophic bacterium Methylacidifolum fumariolicum solve, for which lanthanum, cerium, praseodymium, and neodymium alone are about equally effective. Like all rare earth metals, cerium is of low to moderate toxicity. A strong reducing agent, it ignites spontaneously in air at 65 to 80 degrees Celsius. Fumes from cerium fires are toxic. Water should not be used to stop cerium fires, as cerium reacts with water to produce hydrogen gas. Workers exposed to cerium have experienced itching, sensitivity to heat, and skin lesions. Cerium is not toxic when eaten, but animals injected with large doses of cerium have died due to cardiovascular collapse. Cerium is more dangerous to aquatic organisms, on account of being damaging to cell membranes, but this is not an important risk because it is not very soluble in water. References Bibliography Greenwood, Norman N., Earnshaw, Allen Chemistry of the Elements 2nd ed. Butterworth-Heinemann. ISBN 0-08-037941-9